Hello everyone, my name is Khaleesi and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Today I am bringing you yet another speed build in The Sims 3 of course. I don't know why I feel the need to uh, clarify that what I do or like what I'm doing uh, in literally any video on my channel is in The Sims 3 because um, yeah I am a Sims 3 channel. <laughs> So 90% of the builds, uh, well actually 100% of the content on my channel at the moment is, a is The Sims 3 and it's probably gonna stay that way to be honest with you. I have thought about dabbling in The Sims 4 just a little tiny bit and maybe sharing it on this channel but um, even if that does happen, which honestly it probably won't because um, I just can't really be bothered dealing with The Sims 4 to be honest. <laughs> Uh, even if that does happen though, it will be very, very minimal. So um, yeah, Sims 3 channel, don't need to specify in every video that I'm decorating or building or doing whatever in the Sims 3. I think it's uh, pretty obvious, but uh, yeah, today I am bringing you another speed build, like I just said, and this one is in the world of Dreamers Bay, which is a custom world that you can find for download on the Sketchbook Pixels website. Uh, created by the same person who made St. Great Islands, which um, if you've been on my channel for a while, then you will know that I I spend a lot of time building in St. Great Islands. It is just such a gorgeous world. I love it so much. And um, yeah, when I saw that the creator had other worlds to that I could put into my game, uh, other empty worlds even, I was like, I have to, uh, I have to do the thing. I have to put this in my game. I have to build my butt off in it. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned it already. I probably did, but I will leave a link to Dreamers Bay in the description down below if you want to download this world yourself. Obviously, if you try to put this house in like any other world, it might look a little bit funny because of um, the terrain and everything like that. Obviously, this lot is quite specific when it comes to its terrain and stuff like that. It's like very, very specific to this particular lot that I'm currently building on. Uh, so yeah, if you want this house to function properly, I would recommend uh, you download the world that I've built it in and put it on the exact lot that I put it on. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have to do some fiddling to make it work. But um, some people are into that. I don't know if you have the patience to uh, fiddle around with terrain and stuff like that and you know, if you have the patience to get it looking right, no matter where you put it, then hats off to you. I personally don't have that patience, but uh, <laughs> I respect you for having it, if you do. Uh, but yeah, this is a slightly bigger home than the houses that I normally build. And by slightly, I really mean slightly. This is a two bedroom house. <laughs> I really thought this was going to be uh, a decent sized house because when I was building the exterior and stuff like that, I don't know, it just, it looked like it was going to be relatively decently sized, but when I did the floor plan, um, I could only fit two bedrooms in and yeah, whoops. <laughs> oh, I suppose actually there's a little art studio downstairs or like an office type thing that I put downstairs. Uh, you could turn that into a bedroom if you wanted to, but it's not very big. So, um, yeah, upstairs is a double bedroom, which is obviously like what I would imagine the main sims of the house sleep in, uh, parents, whatever. Uh, and the second bedroom, which is right next to it and which is also upstairs is a nursery. So this house is furnished for a couple or a single sim with a little toddler or a little baby, uh, which was fun. I don't usually do houses for anybody but one sim so this was a little bit out of my comfort zone but I had so much fun with it um I did the majority of this house on stream uh for those of you who don't know which I'm sure you do because I mention it in pretty much every single video that I post I do stream on twitch um and a lot of the time when I'm building like when I'm doing builds I will stream them on twitch not always sometimes I do build just in my spare time and uh while I'm hanging out with people on discord and stuff like that sometimes i'll just build uh in my own time and not stream it but i do like to uh do the occasional building stream as well so uh this one in particular i did do most of it on stream there's a link in the description if you want to follow me on twitch but uh it's in the description of every video i feel like if you were interested in following me on twitch then you probably would have done so by now <laughs> but if you only just 
heard about it for whatever reason, then yeah, there is a link in the description if you are interested. Inter interested. I don't know why I said that. This is so funny. But yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, doing this build. It was definitely something that I haven't really done in a super long time. Uh, back on my old YouTube channel, I used to do a lot of builds where I would sort of... Well, okay, not so much towards the end of my old YouTube channel, but right at the start of my old YouTube channel, I would spend a lot of time fiddling with terrain tools and trying to like do all sorts of different things with different levels of terrain and, you know, sloped driveways and everything like that. But um, I sort of lost my confidence uh, doing builds with terrain tools and different levels of uh, terrain and stuff like that. I don't really know why. I guess I just got... I think actually what it was, uh, I started playing The Sims 4 and I started doing a lot of my building in The Sims 4. I think it might have been around when my, uh, yeah, my Sims 4 phase started, <laughs> if it's a phase. Um, and I stopped playing so much The Sims 3 and I stopped posting The Sims 3. I think because I was building so much in The Sims 4 and back when I was doing that, there weren't any terrain tools or anything like that. So every build that I was doing in The Sims 3 was on a flat surface. There wasn't any terrain or anything like that. I think by the time I came back to The Sims 3 and did more builds in The Sims 3, I was just too used to that to, you know, feel comfortable uh, attempting builds with different terrain and stuff like that. But um, I was looking on YouTube and I was watching some other people. I was even watching some of my old videos because sometimes I inspire myself. I don't know if that's like cringy or anything, but it's true. <laughs> Occasionally I'll go back and I'll have a look at my old videos just to see, just to see, sorry, uh, what I was doing back then. So yeah, I was uh, floating around on YouTube, both on my channel and on other people's channels. And I sort of got an idea of what I wanted to do. And yeah, I loaded into Streamers Bay, which is again, the world that this house is built in. I saw this lot and I figured it would be the perfect place to sort of put what was in my head into the game and just like push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and uh yeah I really like how it ended up turning out um I really don't play with terrain enough I'm gonna try and push myself to use terrain tools more uh because I don't know I do think they add a really nice touch to builds and stuff like that it's just I don't know it's more interesting than just the uh plain old flat surface house although those can be cute as well um i definitely have built some pretty cute houses that are all on like the same level but uh terrain tools are fun once uh you stop being so scared of them so yeah my little goal for myself is to try to be less intimidated by terrain tools and actually you know add some depth to my builds i would like to do some more sloped driveways but uh the problem with that is i don't really build too much on a sloped i mean not on sloped uh, i don't build in worlds that have roads okay st Clair, not st Clair. st Clair islands has a road but a lot of the time the lots that i build on are not connected to the road in st Clair islands maybe i should just build on one of the lots that has you know that's connected to the road and try and do a sloped driveway house there but um I don't know we'll see how we go I want to do like one that slopes down and I also want to do one that slopes up but I don't think I've ever built a house where the driveway slopes up before so uh yeah that'll definitely push me out of my comfort zone but um you know that's what I'm trying to do I guess <laughs> so that'd be literally what I'm aiming for anyway uh, yeah, this house took me, uh, I think I had three and a half hours worth of footage. Yeah, something like that by the time I got to, or by the time I finished up this house and when I started editing this video, I think it was three and a half hours worth of footage, which is actually longer than I expected it to take me. Um, like it looks like it would be a bigger house but um by the time I like moved inside and started decorating the interior uh when I properly looked at the floor plan I was like okay this house isn't actually as big as I um thought it was gonna be <laughs> so I really didn't think it would take that long but um yeah I think half an hour I spent on the exterior 
three hours on the interior. <laughs> uh, but the reason it often takes me so long to, um, well, my builds take me as long as they do because I do a lot of cluttering. Uh, the cluttering does take up quite a bit of time. Uh, but also I'm talking to my Twitch chat at the same time. So I'm getting super distracted. Um, they're very chaotic <laughs> uh, at the best of times. So yeah, sometimes I'm like joining in on the chaos. Sometimes they're like absolutely shocking me with the lewd things that are being typed in there. But um, yeah, I, I usually work a lot slower when I'm streaming my builds, but um, I really like building streams. <laughs> I know I keep talking about Twitch, but um, I went back to, I'm, I'm losing my breath again a lot tonight. I don't know what it is. I think, um, I think I'm doing this thing where I'm just trying to talk too much in a short span of time. I think I need to, um, I think I need to slow down and stop spewing so much out in such like, I need to top, stop talking so fast, I think is what the problem is. I'm not actually stopping and taking breaths <laughs> through my commentaries. I'm just rabbiting on and it's just thought after thought after thought after thought after thought and there's no time to breathe. So yeah, I'm literally running out of breath. But um, oh, I've, I've forgotten what I was saying because I went on a breathing tangent. Oh, um, so this week, for those of you who don't know, which is... I don't know. I feel like a lot of you know because, I, again, I talk about my Twitch channel all the time. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, I used to stream mostly Dead by Daylight. Uh, all of last year, I was a Dead by Daylight streamer. Like, strictly. I never streamed anything else. Um, Dead by Daylight is actually kind of the reason why I fell out of The Sims in general in 2019 and shut the door on my Kiwi Sim channel. <laughs> Uh, yep, Dead by Daylight is in fact to blame for that one. So if you want to chuck some pitchforks at Dead by Daylight for murdering Kiwi Simming, then by all means, be my guest. Um, but yeah, so I used to stream Strictly DVD. This year I started streaming some variety. So I was doing Dead by Daylight still. I did a little bit of Stardew and I was doing a little bit of The Sims. But this week I decided that I wanted to just stream The Sims and... Um, I just wanted to focus on nothing but The Sims for a little while because um, I've been having a really rough couple of months um, where I just haven't been feeling like the best version of myself and I haven't really been feeling like me. I haven't been feeling alive, to be honest with you. I've been feeling very... Uh, I've just had a lot of shit going on in the background that um, some of it I've spoken about on like stream and in videos and stuff like that. So like my PC issues, my mental health crashing. I've like, I've been pretty open about that, but uh, there's been some other stuff as well that is really kind of uh, thrown me back uh, a wee bit. And yeah, I just, I was really struggling with who I was and what I wanted my content to be and just myself as a whole and my roots, which are The Sims 3, obviously, were just really... They were really screaming at me to come back to them and just focus on them for a little bit. So I made the decision this week. I was like, okay, I'm not going to stream any Dead by Daylight. I'm not going to stream anything else. I am just going to play The Sims 3. Uh, if I'm not building, I'm going to work on my legacy challenge or I'm going to play a current household. I'm just going to vibe and I'm just going to play The Sims like I used to because the sims is what i started my twitch channel on it's what i started my youtube channel on it's literally what i started my online brand i guess you could say with i don't know i the word brand feels kind of weird to say as a streamer <laughs> or like as a content creator as a whole because you know you don't you don't really think of yourself as a brand or at least i don't i don't know that just feels kind of weird to say but um yeah like my entire it is a brand, isn't it? <laughs> my entire brand is uh, was built on The Sims. Spef specifically is what I was about to say. Specifically The Sims 3 because my YouTube channel, I started with The Sims 3. And, um, you know, I grew my audience mostly with The Sims 3. I did grow it a bit with The Sims 4 when I switched to The Sims 4 and I stopped posting The Sims 3. But I definitely... The Sims 3 got my feet off the ground, right? Like, uh, I got a good chunk 
of my YouTube subscribers from playing The Sims 3. So yeah, The Sims 3, it's always been a comfort game for me. It's always like, it's what started me off on the internet. It's what made people know who I was. And yeah, I just, I really felt the need to go back to focusing on that game. And that's what I did this week. So all I streamed was The Sims 3. I think I did two building streams and three legacy challenge streams, which if you're interested in a legacy challenge, by the way, uh, I recommend you not to, <laughs> not to, um, so, I'm like losing my train of thought, not to, um, <laughs> not to promote my channel again. I'm sorry. I'm very, very tired today. Uh, not to promote my channel again, but if you are interested in legacy challenges, I just started one on my YouTube channel, uh, my Twitch channel. <laughs> uh, it won't be on YouTube at all. So yeah, if you want to catch it, then I recommend you hop on over. Actually, I say it's not going to be on YouTube, but I might revive my VOD channel and post my VODs on there like anyway. For people who do want to see legacy challenge or maybe i should just post those on my main channel oh i don't know what to do okay uh let me know in the comment section down below if i were to start um highlighting my legacy challenge streams not like every single stream that i do but just the ones where i'm doing legacy challenge for example if i were to highlight those and upload those on youtube would you rather see them on this YouTube channel in their own little like playlist or whatever? Or would you prefer to see them on a brand new channel? Uh, you know, I think it would be easier to just have it all on the one channel, but also I don't want people to get like spammed with like Twitch VODs, but then again, it's not really gonna be spamming. It's just gonna be <laughs> like, it's not gonna take over the regular videos that I'm gonna be uploading on my channel or anything. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. If I were to upload my legacy challenge streams to YouTube, would you prefer to see them on a totally separate channel or would you prefer to see them on this channel? I guess is what I'm asking. I'm kind of personally leaning towards this channel, <laughs> but also, uh, I'm not the audience. So yeah, I mean, granted, I did say I was going to do what I wanted to do with this channel. And that is something that I want to do. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't hurt to have a mix of um, regular content and then also just stream uploads. I mean, it's not going to be like I'll upload every single stream uh, because I don't think that's necessary at all. Um, but, you know, to upload um, just the snippets, not even the snippets, but just like to upload the chunks of my streams where I'm playing Legacy Challenge. I don't know. I think um, I think that would be fine on this YouTube channel. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's at the end of the day, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, I think it's not a terrible idea, but again, I would love to hear your feedback, see what you think about the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I'm doing pretty decently in that legacy challenge. If uh, I may toot my own horn. <laughs> I, okay, so my sim. Oh, sorry, I got a bubble in my throat. My founder, her name is Sophie. Uh, she's already mastered the painting skill. She has completed all of the challenges uh, for the painting skill, which means she paints a lot faster. She paints a lot more brilliant paintings and masterpieces, and she paints, uh, her paintings are worth a lot more money than like regular painters paintings because all of her little skill journal challenges are done. She also has the extra creative moodlet, which is a lifetime reward. Uh, so yeah, she's very good at painting. <laughs> she makes a lot of money off her painting. Uh, she has a fiance who I haven't managed to marry yet because they never actually talk to each other, but maybe in the next uh, legacy challenge stream, I'll try to do that. <laughs> actually get them married. Um, so yeah, she has a fiance. His name is Dexter. Uh, they have three kids. They have Blake, I think his name is. Yeah, Blake is the oldest kid. Uh, then there's Marley, who is the second girl. And, or the, the first girl, but like the second kid. And then there's Harlow. <laughs> I literally last played with this family today and I'm already like unsure of, um, 
you know, my <laughs> of what their names are and everything like that. But yeah, I'm having so much fun with that household. Uh, oh, they also have two pets. We have Leo the cat and Jackson the dog. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm having so much fun with this household. I actually think I'm having more fun with this household than I was with, say, I did a few of the Matthews household streams, which I had fun with, but I don't know, the grind with Legacy Challenge is, um, I'm, I really enjoy, like, working for money and stuff in The Sims, so yeah having a lot of fun with that would definitely love to have you there if you want to watch me play with my legacy household um yeah well, <laughs> i just thought of something uh that happened during the last legacy challenge stream i don't know um how interested you are in hearing this but if you are squeamish i would recommend maybe muting the commentary for a couple of minutes um i will be brief talking about this just so that it doesn't take up the rest of the video <laughs> because it is kind of gross but um so while I was streaming today I was minding my own business talking to my chat had my feet on my desk and I decided that I was uncomfortable with my feet on my desk so I wanted to move and while pulling my legs towards myself okay I need to backtrack no I'll continue and then I'll explain <laughs> so I moved my legs off my desk and there's a metal piece uh, under my desk that I smacked my toenail on and um yeah it came right off <laughs> my entire toenail came off while I was streaming and um that is the worst thing that I have ever experienced on stream because I just I didn't know what to I didn't know what to do I was like my fucking toenail has just come off so I like abruptly put up my BRB screen and I disappeared for like five minutes and I had to come back and explain to my chat that my um my toenail had just popped off and I had to go and take care of that but the reason it popped off I never actually really spoke about this because I was super insecure about it but when I was in high school I got an ingrown toenail and it got really bad to the point where it just wasn't healing and I went to the doctor about it and he pretty much said if it didn't get any better they would probably have to do some sort of surgery on it and it didn't get any better so they did some surgery on it in 2011 <laughs> um and you know i was told it would take you know up to a year maybe to be back to normal because basically during the surgery they like cut the whole nail off or half the nail off and um yeah i was told it would maybe take about a year for the nail to grow back properly and then my foot would be normal again but something went wrong when the toenail was growing back and so for years I've just had like this deformed um toenail and I don't know I don't want to gross too many people out by talking about it <laughs> like I know toes are very very gross um well like they're a very very gross topic for some people myself included I'm sensitive to toes because of this um but yeah it was just not growing back properly so it would keep growing back and then dying pretty much instantly and uh another nail would try to grow underneath it but the top layer like was still there it, like the nail was dead but it was still there so it was this big big mountain and it was really really gross i was so insecure about it uh i couldn't even i always wore socks i never showed my feet to anybody <laughs> outside of my family because I was just so insecure about them or about that one foot in particular uh yeah and I have been putting off doing anything about it because I knew that my only option really was probably going to be surgery again and I was too scared for that so um I just ignored it and I was just going to keep ignoring it and I was just you know going to accept that I have a bung toe and <laughs> I was just gonna live like that but it came off today like it totally came off so as gross as it is um and while I do wish it hadn't happened while I was streaming <laughs> um I'm actually really glad that it did my sister and my mom they were in the living room uh while I was streaming and when I put up my break screen I went out to them and I showed them what had happened and they were both so excited <laughs> because uh they knew that this you know needed to happen and they knew that I was really insecure about my my foot 
and my uh my my health thing not health thing what is it called i don't know i guess it is a health thing oh, pfft, whatever <laughs> my surgery that didn't recover properly um yeah whatever i <laughs> am so sorry if you didn't want to hear about that but I've always been quite open uh, about, you know, what's going on in my life when it comes to my commentaries and stuff like that. So uh, if you'd never heard me be quite so open with you before, now you have. I don't really have limits here. <laughs> yes, I will tell you about my toenail falling off midstream. Uh, you can either deal with it or you can run away. It's up to you. I would understand you running away, but also don't leave me. I'm very lonely. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're welcome for hearing about my toenail that fell off today. Um, please congratulate me because it's actually a very big deal for me. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but, um, it kind of is. Like, for me, at least. Um, but yeah, I've rambled my way through this entire house build, so, um, <laughs> I'd like to apologize for that. Although I did a pretty good job at staying on topic this commentary. You can't deny that. I spend a lot of time talking about the build, especially the first 10 minutes of the build. So I feel like a, I feel like a little bit of a ramble is acceptable towards the end. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, sorry if you don't like toes and toenails and I just completely grossed you out. If you're not totally grossed out by it, thank you for listening. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we're about to jump into some screenshots. So I'm going to wrap my commentary up right here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and let me know what you think in the comment section down below because I absolutely love your feedback. And uh, yeah, the download will be in the description if you want to put this in your own game. Uh, how else do I finish my commentaries? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye! When I met you, when we started